In this video we're going to look at a couple of tips and tricks that I've come across as I've been making some Power BI dashboards. So um, we're going to use this pretend made up data set here, it's all just random numbers. Um, so we've got four categorical variables and four numerical variables in here, so I'm just going to save that. Um, we've also got our four category names in here as a table, so we've got the category, category 1, 2, 3, 4. We've got the value names, value 1, 2, 3, 4, these just line up with our nice little title. And this is what we are looking at making. So um, I'll provide a link to this down below. Um, it's just an embedded Power BI report. Um, so you can split by various different categories. So at the moment I'm split by category one. If I click up here, I can split by category two, three, or four. And I can color by category one, two, three, or four. And I can display values from value one, value two, value three, or value four. Um, and I can also come along and filter by any of the categories down the left here. So I could, you know, just want to look at A's, um, E's, and I's, um, and then that only leaves us with N's, and I've got a nice big reset button at the top here. So that's what we're looking at making. So I've got a nice brand new Power BI, so the first thing I want to do is I want to get that data in. So I'm gonna come along and I'm gonna get the data, and I'm gonna grab it from an Excel file, and that Excel file was this Power BI slicer. Once I've got that, um, I can come through and I can have a look at the different things. So I've got table one, which has got my category data in it. I've got table two, which has got my value labels in it. And table three, which has got all of the actual data in it. So I'm gonna load that in. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make a new table that cross joins this data together. So I'm modeling, I'm gonna come along and I'm gonna go new table. And this table is going to be the cross join of table one, which had my categorical data in it, and table three, which had all of my data in it. So if I come and have a look at that table now, what you can see is for every row that I had in my original table three, it's now in there four times, one for category one, category two, category three, and category four, because there were four values in my um, first table there, that table one. So now that I've got that, I want to come along and I want to make another column. And that column's gonna be dependent on what's in this row here. So I'm gonna come along and click on this triple dot and I'm gonna go new column. The formula for this column is going to be a switch. So if table one category, which is this value here, is category one, then it should have the value for category one. If it's category two, it should have the value for category two, category three, three, so on, and four, four. Um, and then the final bit here is if there is, um, doesn't match any of them, it'll just put in a blank, and it should always match one of those four. So we can see here that we've got B, I, E, I, J, which matches the B, the E, the I, and the J coming down here. The final thing we wanna do is we wanna come along and add a new measure. So we're gonna make a new measure here, and this measure is going to be, again, another switch. Now, table two is the one that's got our different value labels in it. Um, so if it's value one, then it's gonna be the sum of all of the value ones. If it's value two, sum of all of the value twos, and so on. Um, if it's nothing, it's a blank. So you'll notice that that doesn't show up in the table because it's not just a normal column. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to come along and look at our report. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come along and add a couple of slices. So I'm gonna add a slicer. Um, I'm just gonna put it over the right hand side here. And in this slicer, we're going to put in the thing that we want to color by. Now, the thing we want to color by is this category. So we can nicely see we've got the four categories there. Now, we only ever want one of them to be selected, and we want to make sure that it's always one selected. So we're just going to change this to a single select. We also want to make another slicer. So I'm going to bring that in over here. Um, and this slicer here, we want to have the different values in it. So I'm gonna come along and grab this table two and pop that value in. And again, we always want this here to be one of those single slices. So under the selection controls, we're gonna have single select. So it always has to be one of those values. 
Now we're going to come along and add in our chart now. Um, for this one I'm going to do a horizontal chart because that's what I had in the other one but the same principles apply with whatever um, charts you want to put in. So just make it a bit bigger because I like things being a bit big. So our values that we're going to put in is our measure. Um, so we can see if I come along and I click these different things here we can see that the values there are changing. We also want to be able to color code depending on the category. Now you remember before, depending on what value this category had, changed the value of our column. So if I drag this column into the legend, we can see this is now split up by category one, category two, category three, and category four. So we can see it gets those different colors. So now if I come back to the graph, the last thing we want to be able to do is we want to split it up by the different categories. So I can come along and in the axis here, I can come along and I put category one, category two, category three and category four. And now as I move through these different things here, we can see that it changes between those different uh, categories. So what we want now is we want some buttons to be able to change between those categories nicely for us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come along and insert a button. And I'm just gonna make a nice blank one and we're going to call this in the button text we're going to say category one and we're going to need to make a bookmark so what we want to do is in the view we want to add in the bookmarks pane now our bookmark we want to jump back to making sure that we're by category one so i'm going to add that in and i'm going to call this category one and in this drop down here, I want it to just update the selected visual. The only thing I want to change on this bookmark is the graph. Um, so category one, what I want to do is the action on this is the type of bookmark and I want it to be category one. So now if I've gone to one of the other ones and if I press that link, you've got to press control click when you're on the edit mode it jumps back to category one so I'm just going to make three more of these buttons and we're going to have category two category three and category four now we need to come along and make the bookmarks to actually make them work so this one here is going to be for category two and again we just want the selected visuals category three and just the selected visuals oh helps if I actually change it um, so category three we now want to update it because we've just changed it and then category four is that last one there and we'll update it so if I check category one category two category three and category four so now we just need to make the buttons do that So we, that one's category two, this one here is category three, and this one here is category four. I also find that putting a reset button on a graph is a really good, or on a dashboard or report or whatever you want to call it, is a really good idea. Um, so my reset here, I don't want to set it to any particular um, graph I want it to reset everything just back to how it was so reset and action reset so now if I come along and I go hey I want to look at category three and I want to split color by just um, split by category sorry color by category four and look at values three I can come along and I can just control click that reset and it puts it all back to um, how it was at the beginning um, the final things that you may want to do on here is, um, you know, put some labels on and make it look a bit prettier like I have on the other one. Or if you want to add in slices for any of these, um, I could say come along and grab category one over here. Um, and so then, hey, I just want to look at B, um, split it up by category two and color by category four. And you can see it all nicely works there. Um, so that gives us the final product. Um, of this once you've tidied it up and made it look a little bit prettier I've come along and put some titles on here so it's a bit more obvious what the different things are um, and yeah that's a few tips and tricks um, on using Microsoft Power BI